Ali Jinnah was a barrister, politician and the founder of Pakistan, serving as the country's first governor-general from 1947 until his death in September 1948. Born in 1876 in Karachi into a wealthy merchant family, Jinnah studied law at Lincoln's Inn in London. In 1895, he became the youngest Indian to be called to the bar in England at the age of 19. The following year Jinnah returned to India to practice law, but he also became keenly interested in politics. In the early 1900s, he became a member of the Indian National Congress, but left in 1920 after delegates passed Mahatma Gandhi's proposal of Satyagraha, which called for non-cooperation with the British and a boycott of British institutions. Jinnah found this approach too radical and called it political anarchy. Instead, Jinnah aligned himself with the Muslim League, which he had joined in 1913 and become president of in 1916. During the 1920s and 1930s deeper differences emerged between the Congress and the League, and relations between Hindu and Muslim communities deteriorated. Although Jinnah had previously supported a united India, Increasing tensions led him to believe that an independent Muslim state was the only way to avoid Muslim marginalization. In 1940, the Muslim League under Jinnah's leadership published the Lahore Resolution, which demanded partition and embraced the two-nation theory, calling for an independent Muslim state. During World War II, the Muslim League gained strength while several Congress leaders were imprisoned. In the 1945-46 elections, the League successfully secured the majority of Muslim electorate seats, with the League and Congress unable to reach an agreement for a united India. Jinnah agreed to Lord Louis Mountbatten's plan for two separate states. On the 14th of August 1947, Jinnah was appointed as Governor-General of Pakistan. Over the next year, Jinnah worked to establish Pakistan's new government and its policies, at the same time as aiding the millions of Muslim migrants who had traveled across the border. However, Jinnah's health rapidly declined due to complications from tuberculosis, which he had caught in the 1930s, and on the 9th of September 1948 he died at his home in Karachi.